Hello my friends and welcome to the channel. Now, something that's been a little bit disappointing over the last few years has been the reticence of Australians to purchase EVs. But in addition to that, one of the issues has been that manufacturers haven't been willing to bring them here to Australia. That is all starting to change. In fact, Australians' attitudes to EVs are also starting to change and therefore manufacturers are planning on bringing more and more EVs here. In fact, I am super excited about all the BYDs coming here towards the end of this year. In fact, we already have one, the T3 van, which costs $35,000 for a van, a fully electric van with a 45 kilowatt hour lithium ion blade battery. Amazing. Now, obviously I've reported on several vehicles coming here by the end of the year and early next year, they're going to make EVs affordable for everyone, or at least affordable for everyone in Australia, that's for sure. Now, based on recent government data, the popularity of battery-powered passenger cars is significantly growing in Australia, as new electric car sales jumped 59% in 2020. Now, the Australian Bureau of Statistics recently re revealed some data that showed that EV sales increased by 60% in 2020 from a very small base, that's true. But if you see, if you understand the way that exponential growth works, you realize that 60% continued over a matter of a few years very, very quickly leads to complete disruption. Complete. Now, the federal government here in Australia has revealed a total of 20,100 electric cars were registered in 2020, compared with 12,600 the year before. Now, this data actually provides the most accurate snapshot into the EV segment, as market leader Tesla actually withholds its sales data from the industry's monthly VFAX reports. However, figures that were obtained by independent analysts who actually were able to learn the actual numbers, showed in January 2021 that Tesla sold 3,430 vehicles over the 2020 calendar year. Now, very interestingly, is Australian Tesla tracking outlet Vita Prime recently reported that Tesla has brought in roughly 4,200 examples of the Model 3 into the country in the start of 2021, 2021 alone. That's already 40% more than we're in that were, that's already 40% more that were imported in all of 2020. Now, Vita Prime told Drive it expects Tesla to sell well over 10,000 vehicles in Australia this year. And based on the fact that Tesla has just significantly reduced the price of its vehicles here in Australia, massively in some cases, the Tesla Model 3 performance has come down by $17,000. Now, the base model Tesla Model 3 costs $59,990 in Australia. Plus then of course you get the EV incentives that are available in several states in Australia on top of that. And in the US dollars just for you guys watching who might not be from Australia, you're looking at around about a $45,000 price for a Model 3. But remember Tesla actually has to change these cars in Australia to right-hand drive. So it's actually pretty impressive that Tesla can sell these vehicles here in right-hand drive for that price. And obviously equipping them with a lithium iron phosphate battery, which is actually a very good battery. A lot of people don't realize just how good lithium iron phosphate is. Enables Tesla, has enabled Tesla to lower the price. Now at the latest June VFAX report from the Federal Chamber of Automotive Industries here in Australia shows that sales of fully electric cars have jumped to 858 in June. And that represents an increase of 107% compared to the same month last year. Meanwhile, plug-in hybrid models have increased by 15% over the same period. So you can see plug-in hybrid models are not increasing that much, but EVs increasing a lot more. This is exciting news. I'm really pleased to see this, and it's great to see so many Australians' attitudes changing. This time last year, in all the forums and all the car websites on Car Advice, one of the main websites here in Australia, people were still very negative about EVs. But the tide has very much turned. And there's a lot of positivity now around EVs and a lot of people wanting to buy them, as we can see by the sales figures increasing, by the fact that cars like the MG ZS EV have rocketed up our sales charts and have become one of our best-selling cars in the country when nobody had even heard of these MG vehicles only a couple of years ago. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.